data search data science engineering and analytics research center and hub a research center at the university of morotua striving towards data driven decision making data search wants to push the hippo out of the boardroom or in other words support data driven decision making rather than going with the opinion of the highest paid person in the room or the hippo co objective of data search is to catalyze and improve data driven decision making in both the private as well as the public sector creating awareness identifying niche areas where data driven conclusions would be beneficial to the decision makers and majority of the other stakeholders and working in collaboration with the policy makers through multiple research projects here is a set of brief descriptions about some of the projects done through the data search research center on demand high capacity ride sharing for mobility on demand systems this was a project done in collaboration with a professor at cornell university and pikmi of sri lanka sharing the data this model is reactive anytime optimal it can generate dynamic trip vehicle assignment it is scalable for both sparse and dense spatial temporal demand distributions Another very interesting project done with the data from Pikmi was the customer profiling to improve service and management of mobility on demand systems. The ability to forecast the demand for transport is very important for policy makers. In this project, mobile network big data is used to identify the trip purpose, transport choices and to estimate the demand for transport. The project was done in collaboration with LearnAsia. How about the ability to forecast the rice production 2 months prior to harvesting? This was a project to use satellite images and other related data sources to forecast the rice production in advance so that the decision makers can decide when to import rice and when to refrain from importing rice. Spatial temporal forecasting of dengue propagation This was a project done in collaboration with the epidemiology unit of the Ministry of Health and Learn Asia. In this project, we try to forecast where dengue might crop up in the future so that we can take preventative action on those areas and try to prevent the disease from propagating. Data Search is a research center that conducts multiple multidisciplinary research projects and also a hub that connects multiple stakeholders so we invite you to join us to support data driven decision making Not only the virus is spreading, hatred, intolerance, bigotry too, and unfortunately, all of these are deadly. The world is endangered with the increasing number of organized and the emotional crimes. 276,372 intentional murders were registered in the year of 2018, along with 3,814,230 robberies and 2,721,214 assaults. Hence, The world governments and organizations have been strengthening their security reinforcements and infrastructure and video surveillance has become an undeniable option. Remarkably, there are 770 million registered CCTV population is reported across the globe to prevent crimes. But still, the crime rates are adamantly steady. Surveillance cameras are often monitored by the human operators. and prolonged concentration leads to mental and physical fatigueness and the loss of concentration in addition to them ignorance and personal or institutional abuse or tampering of the surveillance systems often ends in a compromised and inefficient surveillance 
world requires a tireless, highly analytical, intelligent, less vulnerable surveillance which is proactive, that is, it requires smart surveillance. Existing smart video surveillance systems can be broadly studied as supervised and unsupervised approaches. Both have their strengths and weaknesses and hence a hybrid version of surveillance is feasible while utilizing the strengths of each approach. Surveillance models can be studied as four categories, video summarization, object detection for web weapons or tools, anomaly detection which can classify and act as anomaly or not which couldn't deal with the specificity of a certain uh, behavior, and finally, action recognition based surveillance which can deal with the specificity of each behavior over which we could develop a threat prediction framework. Available action recognition based surveillance are single attentive though they cater multimodality. But single modality is able to carry multiple aspects like emotions, texts and symbols, and behaviors. Direct causation theory claims emotions causes behavior. Dr. E. V. Ekman in our research suggests that emotions are directly or indirectly related to behaviors. Hence, it is realized that out of multiple aspects that are carried in a video frame, human emotions and behaviors are crucial in predicting threat posed by human activities. Based on those pressing considerations, project scopes were moderated, and we initiate the project multi-aspect deep learning approach for human affect and behavior-based threat prediction and video surveillance. Our project concentrates on developing human affect and behavior-based threat prediction model. We focus on video channel as a single modality. When a frame is streamed in, it is pre-processed separately for emotions and behaviors. OpenCV DNN is used for emotions to crop frames around the faces and YOLO to crop frames around the human figures. These pre-processed frames are sent to two separate feature extractors. These extractors are based on double transfer learning, detailed ResNet emotion feature extractor and detailed ResNet behavior feature extractor extracts relevant features. They provide 0.64 accuracy and 0.67 accuracy for emotion and behavior extracted features respectively. Extracted features are reassembled using enhanced geometric XMOD algorithm that we developed to handle imbalanced data. XMOD has been uh, prolific, outperforming many state-of-the-art models. Then we employ our very own multi-aspect learning GSOM and its version, a di-aspect learning GSOM, which is specified for two aspects, to learn the aspects such as emotions and behaviors individually using aspect learning GSOMs and then learn correlation among aspects using associative GSOMs. Now, with this model, is able to generate output of emotions, behavior, and threat level. We did an ablation studies to see how the combining features help predicting threat levels more precisely. Emotional features along predict the threat levels with a 58.01 accuracy. Behavior features along predict the threat level 50, with a 54.63 accurate. After combining these features of learning through Malgism, our model predicts threat with an accuracy of 61.85%. The model is able to predict threat level of suspicious and alarming behaviors before it is about to happen so that we can prevent a violence or a crime. Our project also exposes annotation API where a user can upload a video and get it annotated for emotions, behaviors or the threat they wish. Through this project, we contributed with the XMOD algorithm, Malgism algorithm, a new data set of 240 clips with, uh, which has emotions and behavior features comprised, and exposed annotation API for the threat, emotion, and behavior annotation. Our project URL of the end data set URL is here as in the screen. Do contact any of us for further clarifications regarding the project. Hope the world is a more secure place and let the love spread. Let's prove it. Do contact any of us for further clarifications regarding the project. Hope the world is a more secure place and let the love spread. Let's prevent violence or crimes by being proactive. Thank you. Sigma Law PBSA Party Best Sentiment Analysis A Legal Opinion Text The research team of Sigma Law PBSA First of all, let's get into the research problem. This is Lloyd George. He receives new cases from clients daily. 
when a lawyer receives a new case he has to manually go through all related previous cases to obtain some information like arguments counter arguments facts and evidence advantages and disadvantages arguments and contradictory statements with the increasing number of legal cases professionals typically endure heavy workloads on a daily basis and they may be overwhelmed therefore lawyers may be unable to deliver a quality result when analyzing the court cases identifying advantageous facts relevant to legal parties is one of the critical and time consuming tasks by automating this task legal officers will be able to reduce their workload significantly We introduce a solution to predict sentiment value of sentences in legal documents in relation to its legal parties. Party-based sentiment annotator automates the time-consuming manual process by predicting the polarity levels which are positive, negative or neutral of sentences in a court case with respect to each legal party. This research is mainly based on the concept of aspect-based sentiment analysis. Aspect-based sentiment analysis is a text analysis technique that separates a text into aspects and then allocates each aspect to a sentiment level like positive, negative or neutral. Consider this example. Food and prices are taken as the aspects and you can clearly see that the sentiment takes the positive sentiment with respect to the food aspect and negative sentiment for the prices aspect. The architecture of sigma law PBSA In the sigma law PBSA model architecture there are six layers. First, the context and aspect sequences are input separately to the word embedding layer. The word embeddings or the output of the word embedding layer are then fed into the sentence state LSTM layer. This layer outputs corresponding hidden states for context and aspect sequence separately. Then these hidden states and the generated dependency graphs are passed into the position aware or attention layer. The generated output of the position aware or attention layer is input into the GZN or graph convolution network. Basically, this GZN layer captures the sentiment interdependencies among the target aspects within a sentence. GZN sends its output to the output layer or the classifier that gives the sentiment classes of each aspect. Now, let's move on to the small demonstration of Sigma Law PBSA. Here, the user can enter a sentence taken from a court case and corresponding petitioner and defendant members to the input fields of sentence, petitioner members and defendant members respectively. Now we'll see some examples.
real time emotion and distress detection from human conversations. As humans, we have the ability to listen to people and understand how they feel. Can a machine also do this? This is what we have tried to achieve in our final year project. Only using audio, identifying if a person is stressed and his real time emotion variations. Our problem was how to identify as many emotions as possible while considering the conversation context. And regarding distress detection, the problem is how to identify distressed individuals as distressed at a good accuracy. These are motivations, monitoring psychological disorders with less human effort, help enrich the AI sector, analyzing custom emotion variations to strengthen service sectors and update the games and digital activities to the next level. Let's analyze the distress detection pathway. From the raw audio waves, we extract spectrogram features. They have information about the audio signal strengths varying across time like this. The next step is to CNN. We identify common feature patterns using filters and extract high-level features that help to detect distress. The output layer is removed and the fully trained CNN is used as a trans learner for the next step which is GSOM clustering. We train the GSOM algorithm to find clusters of the extracted high-dimensional features. We based our experiments on the DIGQuest database and we compared some state-of-the-art model results with the, with the models we constructed and could report state-of-the-art accuracies like this. Let's analyze the emotion detection pipeline. The emotion detection phase consists of three steps. As we need to model a conversation, we should identify who spoke when, we call it speaker diarization Then we need to represent the audio features using an encoding mechanism. Finally, these encodings are used as features to train a recurrent neural network. By inspired from the bag of words approach from NLP domain, we created bag of audio words from the corpus of utterances as shown here. We create audio words which means vectors containing audio feature values for each audio part. From the whole set of audio words extracted from each sentence, we randomly picked 2000 audio words with high dissimilarity to create the audio codebook. Then each test audio data is encoded by creating one audio word incident matrix using the code The emotion detection model considers three major facts when predicting emotions in a conversation. The speaker, context of previous utterance and emotion from the previous utterance. This is the computation model to capture the emotion dynamics of a real conversation. The global state of the conversation, speaker states and speaker's emotion states are captured by three separate GRUs. The introduced attention mechanism provides contextual information from previous states of the conversation to enhance the emotion prediction capabilities. We experimented our newly proposed pipeline on two benchmark datasets, IEMOCAP and MELT, and we could achieve state-of-the-art results from both datasets. These are achievements and contributions. The main deliverable of the project is we expose a set of APIs. This is a demonstration of our web application, predicting emotions for an uploaded audio clip. Don't you understand? I have to do this. I have to kill you. This is another example. Oh, I saw a man with that shake. This is a clip taken from a mobile game that changes the player's speed depending on the emotion of the voice input. How's it going? Who do you think you are? And this shows how the distress detection model works in practice for a stressed audio clip.